Want to know what we bought at Crufts in 2017? Well, I'm going to show you that in today's video. Hi guys, it's Chloe and Ted here from Everything Dogs with Chloe. And on this channel, we help you keep your hairy hound happy and healthy. So if you're new here, please think about subscribing because we post videos just like this one on dog hauls and also anything else to do with your dog. Also, don't forget to check out all the links down below well, I find very similar products to these ones uh, as well, but please remember that these were bought from stalls in Crufts, so they won't be the exact same ones. Let's get into the video. So the first toy that I'm going to show you is I'm going to show it you first because Ted is currently on my feet and really, really wants to play with it. It is a blue, small chuck it ball. He used to have the medium sized ones, but um, they used to fit really nicely in his mouth and then he lost them and I ordered the smalls by mistake and they just seemed to fit better in his mouth. So we chose the blue one because I think for some reason Ted can see blue better, but also it is meant to squeak but somebody broke the squeaker as soon as they got it. So what Ted does is he puts the ball into his mouth and squeezes it and I think that's just broken the squeaker basically. Um, it's not a fault with the product or anything like that, it's just the way Ted plays with the ball. Um, we absolutely love these chucky balls, Ted loves them, he loves the texture, we love how they bounce, we love how what colours you can get them in and all the different sizes. So this is a really great ball and I love the chucket balls. I would never buy anything else. The other thing is as well, is if you buy a tennis ball, then the dog will chew off all the like material on the outside of the tennis ball. Whereas with these, it's just rubber, so they can't. So really pleased with this. There you go. The next toy that I'm gonna show you is actually, I really love this toy. This was the last toy that we were gonna buy on the day. I wanted to buy Ted a few more toys to play with. Um, and it's basically um, a pig and um, it's got Velcro at the bottom. And if I can get into it, oh, okay. There's actually a bottle inside. So what happens is, is that you can replace this, like once the bottle gets old and battered and they've played with it more than enough, you can replace the bottle that's inside here and it's all crunchy and nice for them, which I really like. Um, obviously it's got the little bit on the top here which Ted no doubt soon will rip off and I really like the material, I like the length, I like the fact that it's a pig and the fact that you've got Velcro on the bottom. My only concern with this is because it is a material toy, he will rip into it and ruin it and then we can't use it as a replacement bottle cover at all. But if you have got a dog that doesn't rip into material toys, then I definitely recommend this. The reason we got Ted this was just because of the bottle inside and if he rips it, he rips it. Hey ho. Here you go. Oh yes. The next toy that I got, and this is purely for possibly agility purposes, if he gets on with it really well, is a Tuggy. Now, we currently have a blue one like this, the exact same shape as this, but a string coming outwards, rather than like an elastic elasticated Tuggy. Um, at the moment, Ted isn't tugging with this, he's actually holding onto the elastic and pulling that way. Um, I'm leaving it out for a bit to see how much he gets attached to it, see if he'll play with it if we lose his other one or if we forget his other one, but actually at the moment he's not really overly interested in it. He is at the moment because it's something moving around and it's exciting. The fact that, the thing that I really like about this toy is that it is elasticated, so if your dog does pull, there is some tug there as well, and obviously um, you're not yanking, you're yanking your arm out, it is basically a tuggy. So I'm really, really pleased with this. Um, I really like the rubber as well, Ted likes it, it's the latex, but he does prefer his traditional agility tuggy. Now the next toy that I'm going to show you isn't actually a toy, it's actually a jumping agility jump. Um, it obviously hasn't got any wings, it's made from a UPVC, um, it's really really good, I really like it, it's so easy to put up. It can come in many different colours like red, orange, yellow, green, blue and purple I think. 
This is from a company called Jesse Jump. I've also bought my weaves from here as well. They are so well priced because they are plastic. So you're not paying hundreds and hundreds of pounds for metal equipment that is heavy and it's a nightmare to carry and it's expensive. It's actually really well priced. The price of this jump was £16.50 just for one. I got two because then it means I can work on sequences with Ted and get him jumping at the start of the weaves and at the end of the weaves as well. The height can change really easily as well. You can go as low as you want or as high as you want. The only thing that I don't like about this jump is it's not wide enough. It's not the same width as what it would be at a show. So Ted could get used to jumping this width and then the normal width of the agility competition might throw him off. So it is a bit of a concern but I'm sure he'll be okay. Thank you so much for watching and if you are new here please think about a uh, Thank you so much for watching and if you are new here please think about subscribing and don't forget to check out all the links down below. Also maybe share this video with someone that you might think might, might find the toys useful in this video. And also we help you keep your hairy hound happy and healthy. Thanks for watching guys. Bye! You're crazy. Crazy doggy.